Who am I and who are you? The ultimate questions for who we are as whole beings experiencing on this earth in this um, human journey. And to find the answers to these questions, we are going to be sitting down and exploring the minds for the wisdom and knowledge of the layers that make up our beings. From the mind, to the emotions, to the body, and to the astral with the light body, we will be exploring these different multi-dimensional aspects of who we are as the I am presence in this world on earth in the human experience. We'll get to have fun cracking smiles and diving deep into the knowledge with different psychics, intuitives, shamans, coaches, teachers, practitioners, and many more different beautiful conscious souls of the everyday life to gather the information we need in order to unravel these layers and become more aware and present in ourself as the whole I am presence that we are. And I'm very grateful for this and really look forward to the journey. So thank you all for tapping in and being a part of this. And I am your host, Marcus, aka Crystal Light. And I will be on this journey with you from the beginning to the end as we travel through the process of clearing layers. has been discussed about Reiki healing in today's world of integrated healthcare, but there's still some confusion about what Reiki really is. So today I'm talking to an expert to find out why Reiki can help with overall wellness. So I'm here with Terry Kirsting, who is a holistic health practitioner. Now Terry, for our friends that don't understand what Reiki is, I think the first thing we need to know is what it's all about. Reiki energy healing is a Japanese technique of stress reduction, relaxation, and it also promotes healing. Everything in the universe is energy, everything, including emotions. When we have emotions, we can have emotional blocks that we hold on to, and that can affect that pure life force energy. So Reiki is about helping to release those blocks. Is it just for mental or is it in physical or is it really an overall wellness that you're going for with Reiki? Oh, absolutely overall wellness. I mean, as a holistic health practitioner, you're looking at mind, body, and spirit. It's very healing in all respects. There are even hospitals that are now using it. There are coping mechanisms and think processes that we can do that just help us to recharge, to recenter. Reiki is an excellent tool for doing that. So it's a good idea to sort of have it in your wellness toolbox. Exactly. Who yeah. doesn't like to feel at peace and calm? Yeah. Every soul 
living can benefit from it. You want to show me how it's done? Sure. I'm going to show you my way. Other practitioners might do it a little bit differently, but it's all good. So Terry, normally when I do Reiki, I'm used to laying down, but today I'm in a chair. The chair is a nice way for someone to be able to do it anywhere. And I can do like a quick 10 minute session, which can be amazing just in the course of a day. I don't touch the body. You may feel tingling or warmth and there's no right or wrong whether you feel something or not. The biggest lesson that we can learn from Reiki healing is that it's just another great tool to add to our wellness toolbox. Yes, it helps with stress reduction, it helps with relaxation, it helps our body to heal, it helps us center at the end of the day. Also, it helps us to prepare for the day ahead and all the stresses and anxieties that can come up. For more information on how other things work in the world of health, just check out our website, livinghealthytv.com. Blessed day, everybody. On this next episode of The Process of Clearing Layers, episode eight, we are gonna be diving into Reiki and energy healing. And our authentic soul guest, he has been a Reiki master since 2019. And he's been practicing meditative breathwork storytelling and other energy healing practices with multiple clients from around the world. Alexander Fox, he, in 2017, was diagnosed with the Crohn's disease. And in 2018, he started traveling all around the world. And he came across many different energy practices, including yoga, meditation, breath work, and Reiki. And through these experiences with the energy practices, he was able to start bringing harmony and balance to this Crohn's disease within his body. And now he's had the honor to share with hundreds around the world these energy healing practices so we will be sitting with him to dive into his story the wonderful testimonies that he has from the services he's provided to others and he is someone that does free donation based events every month or couple of months and you can catch these posted on his instagram page so tap in this Sunday, the 26th of February at noon Eastern for the process of clearing layers, episode eight, as we will sit with our authentic soul guest, Alexander Fox. Wholeness, balance, love vibrations. Don't get attached to the physical mind, time to let go. We write in hieroglyphics, you don't understand this language to a city. Got to out the line and turn into a mystic, homie, I'm realistic. And you got to get with the way I refuse to be a slave. I create tsunamis and no one above me. I'll be spitting water for days. What's hiding you haters? I'm blocking invaders through astral realities. All emulators will die and rise like a phoenix. With fire and light and aura, so bright we surpassing Anunnaki beings. I splice through genetics, creating prophetically. Transcend the hell while I'm breaking the spell as I do it so well. I'm breathing energetically. Whoa, let me breathe. I'll be living out to creating a show that I'm amazing. I feel the sensations of unification. My humans relate.